This is Great Pretender. Great Pretender is a 2020 anime produced by Wit Studio about conning, cunning con man. Man? Yeah, that sounded way better in my head. We follow the trials and tribulations of Makoto Idamura, a young and upcoming star in the world of conning innocent sweet old ladies out of their retirement money. So yeah, say hello to the hero of the next 23 episodes. <laughs> yeah, no, to be fair, it, it actually turns out pretty soon that Makoto has indeed a heart of gold and that he uses his skills not only only to enrich himself, but to actually change the world for the better, one con at a time. Through a couple of convenient and totally not at all staged and pre-planned coincidences, Makoto comes into contact with a suave and sly Laurent Terry, who wants to recruit Makoto to become part of his cunning crew confidence, mostly because he needs him to portray a Japanese chemist with a brand new drug recipe to target an American drug kingpin slash movie producer in LA. And yes, it is exactly as weird as it sounds. Because these con artists have made it their calling to only go after criminals and use at least part of their earnings to better the life of the people who were wronged by them. Uh, the criminals, not the conning crew. It, it gets a little bit confusing, but trust me, we get that. The crew that is, at first, composed of Makoto, Laurent, his now self-proclaimed mentor, and Abby, the jack-of-all-trades responsible for the more... Um, physical aspects of the operation, visits a bunch of exotic locations around the world in their pursuit of monetary happiness. The story is composed of, at the time of recording, four more or less standalone cases that during their runtime also focus on the backstory of one of each of our main protagonists. Each case has a clear main villain that our charismatically charged con artist collective has to take on, trick, backstab and quite possibly bamboozle. It is, in a lot of ways, very reminiscent of old heist or so-called caper movies like The Sting or Ocean's Eleven. Although, at times, it has actually more in common with a fish named Wanda. All right, all right, I apologize. You're really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize unreservedly. Makoto and, by extent, the audience are mostly left in the dark about what's really going on, which leads to quite some interesting twists and turns and sometimes complete 360 no-scope headshots, as it turns out that everything that happened, no matter how weird, confusing and completely unrealistic, happened just as planned. Now, the visuals are absolutely stunning and beautiful to behold. The background art was inspired by the works of British artist Sir Brian Cadwell Cook Buttsford. Jesus, that's a mouthful. Better known as Brian Cook and uses a simplistic but very warm and vibrant color scheme. And I could really see myself hanging some of these backgrounds as artworks on my living room wall. They are just that beautiful. The character design was done by the legendary Yoshiyuki Zaramoto, best known for his work as the lead character designer on a tiny, rather inconspicuous little series, you might have heard of it, called Neon F***ing Genesis Evangelion. So, yeah, this show really doesn't leave you wanting in the art department at all, that's for sure. And while they don't show much in that regard, the few action scenes that are here are just flawlessly executed. Especially the flight race in the second case that was produced with the help of 3D CG studio Madbox, which also worked, among other things, on Attack on Titan. The music by acclaimed composer Yutaka Yamada, well known for his work on Tokyo Ghoul, also doesn't fall flat. And it reminds me in a lot of ways of Yoko Kano's soundtrack on Cowboy Bebop. It really makes for some real smooth listening. Just jazz and chill. <laughs> also, I can't talk about the music without mentioning the ending theme. Freddie Mercury's cult cover of the 1955 song The Great Pretender by the Platters. Envisioned here as the cutest animated cat music video since the invention of the internet. And I stand by that statement. Okay, so 
enough gushing over this show. There is a reason why I call this a brand view trademark pending. But first, should you watch Great Pretender? Well, if it wasn't obvious up to this point, this show gets a hard recommendation from me just for its star power in the art department. It won't change your life or let you ask yourself deep, philosophically meaningful questions about the nature and state of the universe, humanity and your place in any of this. That would be Evangelion, which we will visit sometime in the future. But it will be an entertaining time for you and everybody else you forced to watch this show with you. So, a uh, massive spoiler warning from this point onward, but I, I really need to talk about the implications of the plot twists of the last few episodes and the last case as a whole. <sighs> Alright, everybody who doesn't want to be spoiled can leave now, watch the show and come back later. Or if you don't care about spoilers at all and just want to hear me rant, keep on watching. Ready? Okay, three... Two, one, go. God damn, Marco Do had a messed up youth. I mean, his father, and well, mother up to a point too, I guess, they all knew what was really going on and basically let him slip into a life of crime just because nobody, and I mean nobody, was willing to tell him the truth about anything. <sighs> I mean, all the poor guy really, really wants is to live a simple life in peace. He, he never really had a chance not to end up where he does. Yes, Makoto seems to have a natural talent as a con man and seems to, at least at some points, enjoy the thrill of the game, but that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean that this is what he wants, hell, needs. <sighs> In the beginning of the Singapore arc, he seems perfectly content to live the life of a simple mechanic. He finally finds inner peace after serving undeserved jail time for a crime he literally didn't commit because of a job he only had to take because he was basically guilty by association because his magic dad Oz, the greatest father in the world, got arrested also for a crime he didn't commit because he was working a con job on the mother f***ing Yakuza. And, and, and not out of the good of his heart or to stop their slave trade. No, 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 that was just considered icing on their con cake. But to get more money than they already had at that point. I mean, Laurent literally says that they don't need to do this job because they all are already rich as f**k and never need to work a day in their entire life ever again. It's just supposed to be the last job before retirement for the fucking kick of it. And they screwed it up because of course they did. And poor Makoto, poor teenage schoolboy Makoto gets his life ripped apart for shits and giggles. In the real world, he would have to see multiple therapists for the rest of his PTSD-ridden life just to cope with some of the mental scars he would carry away from all this mess. Not all of this, but most of this could have been avoided if somebody would just have f***ing talked to the kid. His own father, goddammit, his own mother never told him the truth because, well, I don't know. <laughs> because he wouldn't have been able to deal with it? Because he would have told somebody? If this show has one core message, it's that nobody trusts Makoto with anything because he might spill the beans. Which is weird because there is no implication whatsoever that he couldn't keep his mouth shut. On the contrary, he was running his own schemes very effectively beforehand. 
I mean, if at all some of these cases were at the verge of failing, it was because they didn't trust him with essential information. And also he wouldn't have even needed to take this, this job that ruined his life in the first place because his father was a goddamn millionaire. <sighs> okay, rent. Over. Go watch this show. It, 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 it's it's really good. It, it really is. It's just it's just a little f***ed up when you know what's really going on. That's it for this episode. Now now go out there and watch some goddamn anime. And if you have children, please promise me you treat them better than Makoto was. I hope to see you all next time at Guys Corner. <laughs>